Tens of thousands of unlisted numbers made public by mistake. On the Consumer Watch, Julie wants some why the PUC is now investigating Comcast. I pay for a service. I want my service. Back in 2012, Kim Jason was furious when Comcast accidentally published her unlisted phone number and address. And I'm paying for a non-listed phone number. But what was an inconvenience for her has become downright dangerous for others. Comcast now admits between July of 2010 and December of 2012, it wrongfully listed 74,000 unlisted phone numbers, half of all its unlisted California customers. Here in California, we have a constitutional right to privacy. And turns Mindy Spat says that's something Comcast has violated. She's been attending the PUC hearings, which will determine if Comcast should be sanctioned for publishing the unlisted numbers. A PUC investigation found some customers had, quote, domestic violence concerns and other personal safety issues. Another complaint to the FCC, I testified in a murder trial. Now my wife, children, and I are all in danger. Comcast did not take the customer's right to privacy seriously enough. Turn questions what Comcast knew and when. Comcast claims it first uncovered the issue in October of 2012, then waited until January of 2013 to report it to the PUC. But nearly a year earlier, our sister station in Sacramento reported on Kim Jason's case. So Turn says Comcast should have and could have acted sooner. It was incumbent on Comcast as soon as it found out that these breaches were occurring to do something about it, not to treat them as isolated incidents. In a statement, Comcast says after it discovered the issue, it notified and credited customers, offered refunds, and took steps to prevent it from happening again. As to why the breach continued for nearly a year after it knew about Kim's case, Comcast would only say hers was, quote, not the same. Now, the PUC hearings ended today, but the investigation is ongoing. It could be months before regulators decide whether or not to sanction Comcast. And if you have a consumer problem, you can give us a call, 888-5-HELPS-YOU. There's not a whole lot customers mm -hmm. can do if that happens. No, certainly. Once your number's out there, you can't really unring that bell. Change it. You can change your number, yeah. you can change your address. Of right. course, that's not always so simple. Yeah.